I'm Olivia Gonzalez Bridge, your community reporter in Arroyo Grande, where here at Village Cafe, the restaurant is passing on credit card fees onto their customers. With prices soaring, the owner tells me they had no other choice. Americans are increasingly ditching cash in favor of credit cards. It seems like everybody, I'm the only one that uses cash. Many people understand the shift, which some attribute to the desire to accrue credit card points. I, uh, I get it that sometimes credit cards tells you the first year you don't have any interest and then you get points and all that. However, for local business owners like Tammy Price, accepting card payments comes with steep costs every month. Depending on how much processing you use, um, the bill could be anywhere from a thousand to two thousand dollars. Price has owned Village Cafe for the last 15 years. She faced challenges during the pandemic and is now grappling with inflation, telling me she's had to adjust her prices multiple times. Eggs, they were $30 a case. They went up as far high as 90, even higher. You know, so businesses have to raise their prices accordingly. And as produce prices continue to rise, Price felt like she had no choice but to pass credit card fees on to her customers. I hate to have to put that on my customers. People like Anthony Wood from Leroy Grande tell me they've been seeing more and more businesses taking the same action. Oh, I can totally understand when you have a business owner that can't afford either increases in prices or, or doesn't want to pass on those, those costs. Down the street, Sidewalk Cafe has invested in technologies like the Clover Register. It's fast, so much faster than anything else. There's also reporting. It helps streamline transactions and manage credit card fees. Despite the $3,000 startup cost, the owner believes it's a worthwhile investment. For Price, she says implementing a 3% charge for non-cash payments has led to customer dissatisfaction. Yet, it's a necessary step for her to cope with rising costs. Small mom and pop places like this um, are really struggling. I think a lot more, way more than, than the bigger places. And speaking of fees under a new state bill starting July 1st, it will be illegal for businesses to display prices that don't include all required fees. For more on that legislation, you can visit our website at ksby.com. In Arroyo Grande, Olivia Gonzalez-Britt, KSBY News.